Journey is a registered trademark of Sony Computer Entertainment America LLC. Copyright 2012. Hello gamers, this is Vivi of the M9, it's the only M9 on YouTube, and today we are in the underground city of Journey in my White Cloak Chronicles, my more extensive walkthrough of Journey. So this area, you'll encounter your first enemies of the game. <coughs> Pardon me. Dealing with something of a sore throat, summer cold, maybe maybe just allergies, hopefully just allergies, that'd be nice. somebody back here. Where are you? So the first glyph in this area is a little hard to find. Um, it's not the most obvious. As you're walking along these sunken pillar parts, it's right up here. Once you get above here, you'll see this pretty area, and there is actually the second glyph is right over here. Mm, there we go. Yep, through this little little area, and then you can just walk right on out <coughs> and use the scarves that look like seaweed to get up. So, there is a glyph in here. It's way up there. It's not easy to see from here. So, what we'll do is we'll fly up. <coughs> it's actually on top of one of these little floating man of war guys. You can see it sparkling up there. So, we'll go up. The easiest way is just to follow this guy up and then right on top of his bell head like a like a pretty jellyfish scarf jellyfish and then you can just fly on out of here nothing else to see <coughs> there's nothing up there so go down here this is where things get a little bit scary Hello, hello. Follow me, follow me. Looks like he's lost a lot of scarf. <laughs> so basically, you want to stick to the left side of things. because there are these guys around. Once you see that first one, it's not a big deal. You can kind of just mosey on through. Uh, try not to use your magic too much, um, especially if you only have a red cloak, um, and especially if you're alone. And don't call out. Um, I've heard... I have not experienced this before, but I've heard in some cases that calling out can actually draw their attention. <laughs> so 
So again, from here, you just peel off to the left. There is a mural up here. I like going around the back of the statues. Um, it's a little bit more of a trek. Um, but walking down the center, you'll actually activate more of these guys, these big bads, and uh, we don't really want to do that. And in order to, you don't even have to go through that, you can really just like fly up here through these gates and you can even bypass that so it makes life a little bit easier and again just walking up here behind the statues you'll see them activate every once in a while it's just scripted part of the game just as long as you stay out of that blue light you won't have any issues go. Another nice little section. Let's see where this, where our other guy is. There we go. Alright, now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. So in this, I believe this is like the fourth segment, you'll see some of these knock down like ductways. Once you pass that one, you'll notice there is a glyph that you have to get. Do it very quickly and very quietly. Swoop in, grab it, use your magic, get out of there. Now there isn't a window here, so you'll have to go around but there aren't any bad guys left to get you in this area. Now, if you'll notice, once you get to this, there's two. You cannot avoid them. The key here is to not hesitate. You need to go for it. They will not get you if you keep moving. So just keep moving. Keep pushing forward. They will come after you, but as you will notice, they will never reach you in time. So you can literally just go right on through and they'll just continue to be like, hey, what's going on? So yeah, that is the, that is everything in the sunken city. I hope you enjoyed. One thing I forgot to mention is there is a trophy for not getting your scarf torn. The Trials Trophy is awarded to you right after you reach the statue at the end. If you found this guide informative, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if there are any suggestions or comments you'd like to leave, leave them below. Uh, and keep to keep up to date on all of the guides, 
my extended walkthrough, uh, the best way to do that is to subscribe. I'll be releasing the next section shortly, and uh, it is probably my favorite section of the game. So until then, I will see you guys around. Bye.